Warriors GM Bob Myers faced the media, and of course they asked him the about media, Kevin Durant, the media, the media. what happened, and here's what he had to say. Well, it, it, it wasn't like, uh, you know, slam on the door. It was very, very like you know, to be honest, I was kind of sad, yeah. you know. I was kind of sad. Was there like kind of a sadness? When yeah, you I mean, I was, because I like him. Um, forget about, I mean, and the other thing is, I love basketball, and so just to watch him play, um, was a treat for me, just to watch him practice, to watch him work out. He worked out right on this basket all the time. Um, I'll miss that. I will, just, just as a basketball fan, because you know, guys like him don't come along too often. And um, his skill set, his, his ability is so unique that um, to get to head, I, I view it, for me, reconcile it with, I got to see him up close for three years of my life, and I'll always remember that. Jalen, Bob Myers is sad. I actually just thought about something watching Bob Myers do that. What was that? Kevin Durant is going to be the second player in the history of the NBA to have his number retired by three different teams. Huh. Wilt Chamberlain is the only person to have that achievement. One, two. Yeah. That's first and foremost. Second, Bob Myers was sad. But you notice what he was not surprised. For everybody that's been paying attention, whether it's LeBron going back to Cleveland, Kawhi playing his one year with the Raptors, KD playing his couple of seasons with the Warriors, these were arranged marriages. None of those players went to those situations and did like Giannis or did like Steph. It was like, I love it here. I want to be here long term. Mm -hmm. None of those guys said that. And one of the things that also helped aid and allow KD to remember that he was there for a goal took place after their first championship during the parade. Oh, what was that? It was Bob Myers, really enthusiastic. Everyone feels good. You know, Celebrating the championship. Oh, yeah. Maybe some drinks were involved. And I'll show you what he had to say about KD. Let's check it out. And then I heard you tell Kevin Durant he can have whatever contract he wants next year. Yeah, that was just for the media. He can't have anything <laughs> like that at all. Mid-level. Yeah, <laughs> mid-level, behind closed doors. It's because I think story. last year he told Steph he could have any contract he wants, too. Yeah. So Well, yeah, that was different. He, well, he's, he's been here from the run, you know, the way before days. He's earned it. <laughs> So what he just acknowledged is what KD knew that the entire world would speculate. Mm -hmm. And even though he won back-to-back -back finals MVPs, winning his first championship, he distinctly let the world know, that didn't make me as happy as I thought. After winning the second championship, he seemed even more unhappy. Mm -hmm. Because if his general manager is speaking into a microphone about the fact Steph was there from the beginning. Yep. But KD rolled the wave. What do you think unsophisticated, unresponsible, ear, uh, unprofessional media members like us are going to say? Or he's fans? Gone. He's gone. Or social media? He's gone. And in a weird way, that one little clip that you wanted to play is a microchasm of how the fan base and the NBA felt about the difference between Steph and KD. We always said, well, it's Steph's team. And the fans always the fans always felt a more kinship to Steph in the Bay Area than they did to KD because of what you said. And also, I want to draw a fork in the role for NBA fans to acknowledge. The hardest thing to do is to have a great player lead you to a championship. There's so many people walking the face of the earth that are able to brag about the, the multiple championship rings they have. When you get a chance, make sure you ask them, how was it to play with Bill Russell? What kind of guy is Shaq and Kobe? Hey, that LeBron guy, that Wade guy is awesome. Hey, tell me about Tim Duncan. Tell me about Tom Brady. Because greatness with an organization allows other people like myself, who wasn't considered a great player in his own right, to ride a situation to a championship. Mm -hmm. And that's okay in a team dynamic. But when you're Paul George, when you're Anthony Davis, we understand that you tried to be the best player on the championship team, 
but you're not an all-time great player. But when you're Kevin Durant, people expect you to be an all-time great player because we're comparing you to LeBron. We're saying that you might break the scoring ch title. So there's just a different level of Hall of Fame that exists amongst these guys that are all going. So for KD, he now has to prove that I can be the best player on a really good team. To Wait, himself. KD still got something to prove? To himself. I thought we were done with this. I thought he, I thought he had proved it. To himself. This has nothing to do with us. I'm good with KD. I'm good with him now. He doesn't have nothing to prove to me. To himself. I was a person talking on ABC saying that he should not play in a game five because his team is down 3-1 and he wants to prove something to the peanut gallery. I would not perform. The workout didn't go well. That was the reason why he went out there, Jacoby. There's still something that he wants to prove. Now teaming up with Kyrie and the Nets, when he returns from injury, let's see if he's able to do that. To the man in the mirror, we just get a chance to be witnesses. And we'll see. You know, because for me, the jury is not still out. Being Kevin Durant's head, maybe it is. You know, maybe it is. But to me, like, Kevin Durant, if healthy, best player in the NBA. Just my opinion. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.